It's Sunday, April 3rd, and the sky is overcast with clouds and brisk winds are blowing outside. But the views out the window are captivating as we travel through New Mexico headed to Utah as part of our six-week Florida to Utah trek. Thanks for joining us as we get our first look at Utah in this video and stay at a fantastic BLM site in Valley of the Gods. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have not already. What was it like in the 1800s heading west? Covered wagons and horseback coming through this area. Well, this is day 12 since we left home, and we are about to cross the Utah border within a couple of hours. It's a trading post. So we cross the Utah border. It's so interesting to pass through the Navajo Nation, which is over 17 million acres, about the size of West Virginia, and experience all of the small Indian communities. There's a very strong population of Native Americans here. And the Navajo Nation is the largest Indian reservation in the country. The landscape is so beautiful. More than any other Southwest state, Utah provides the Western images of sandy desert, deep canyons, and towering red rocks. Valley of the Gods Road right here. So we are a little bit confused as to which way to go here. If we continue this way, is this the way the Valley of the Gods Road goes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. With camping up there? Oh, plenty of camping. Yeah, Thank you. Beautiful. Thanks. You have a bowl. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. I feel like we're on that Jeep ride, but we've got a camper behind us. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa. Five miles in, and that is the Sitting Hen Butte. we found a spot there's plenty of spots here but I think we found a spot right in front of Sitting Hen Butte that look good to you? yes it sure does I think it does too oh wow it's a great sight I love this spot
There may be some benefits to being here on a Monday morning. We're here. So we're having a little celebratory lunch today. We're celebrating making it to Utah with a beer and a sub sandwich and a bag of chips. So Fred's gonna walk to the top of that hill there to see if he gets cell signal. We're getting a little bit out here, like about a one bar. I'm gonna take off this way, which is the way we came. I'm gonna take off on my bike. I wonder if that's Monument Valley over there in the horizon. It might be, I'm not sure. Find out later. It's a great road to ride your bike on. This is a very hilly road. I just rode my bike a little bit closer to this. But isn't that pretty? jackery and I put a pork roast in there and then we shredded the meat and had it on these hamburger buns. It was quite delicious and uh, Fred and I got to eat and the dogs absolutely loved it. They devoured most of it so everybody has their belly full now. Okay, so it's 8 20 tuesday morning april 5th and we are back on valley of the gods road we're going to finish out this drive it's a beautiful morning This is the back side of, you know, where we camped last night. That's the back side of that sitting hen butte. This is the battleship rock. It looks like an old battleship. imagination go crazy. And the 
sun is hitting it. That is gorgeous. You know, one thing that is so amazing about this area is it is 17 miles of campsites, basically. And there are so many places to camp here. It's, it's, it's a great thing um, that this is available to us to use. And it seems like that it's very well taken care of. I'm not seeing any trash or any kind of problem areas. It's everything is just uh, pristine. Uh, this is Rooster Butte coming up here on our right. You can very definitely make out the shape of a rooster. You know, one thing that might be helpful to you before you come here is to get a printout of um, all the names of these different rock formations. It's just kind of fun to go through and try to figure out which one is which. Yeah, yesterday I patted the dogs and dust. You can see dust coming off of them. Pretty dusty. Then I, Fred got out to make sure I put the windows down and say we're down. Gonna let the dogs take a quick break. Liz, Lily is fine off leash, but Lucy likes to explore. Lucy's a lot more independent. Fred just made a comment that one reason why it's probably so bumpy for us is because our tires are fully inflated. Um, very close to here something called Moki Dougie Highway which I did want to go on but we would have to unhook our rover to do that I don't think we would feel comfortable taking our camper down that road 
and we really don't want to unhook and we feel like we got quite a bit of switchback experience in Palo Duro Canyon uh, which uh, should be our last video so we're gonna skip that but just keep in mind if you're making your a trip itinerary for yourself that Moki Dougie Highway is very close to here and it's supposed to have some spectacular views scary when you come up over the top of these little hills and you can't see what's on the other side, isn't it? This is a little concern. There's a pretty large fifth wheel in front of us. They seem to be making it through okay. going pretty slow through here so we try to let people pass us pull over and just let them pass okay so at mile 15 and a half as you come in from highway 163 which is what we did um, there's a valley of the God's bed and breakfast and Lee's Ranch there's the sun there's the sun it's closed right now, maybe because it's off season. I'm not sure. I could have gone for a cup of coffee. I could have gone for a cup of coffee too. We pulled out kind of quickly this morning and didn't make ourselves any. Now this big motorhome here is parked right at the entrance of the road. I wonder if they just parked it here and then maybe they're riding their bikes or. And then we are done. So we are coming out on Utah Highway 261. If we turn left, we go to Gooseneck State Park and Mexican Hat and Monument Valley. But if we turn right, we go to that Moki Dugway. And then you can also access Muley Point and Cedar Mesa if you go right. Also to the right is U.S. Highway 95, which leads you to Natural Bridges National Monument. So we're going to go left into Mexican Hat right now. Thanks again for watching, and please be sure you subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this Valley of the Gods road tour.